For nine under, do you prefer starting off with the bat in the next slot? And should top hand elbow be up or more relaxed as if both elbows are resting on the table? I 1000% believe it's not only for nine and under, but everybody should start in this position. Okay, bat on the next slot. My arm's just hanging here. Notice there's a 90 degree angle, give or take, between my arms, between the bat and this forearm, between the bat and that forearm. This is absolutely the quickest spot to learn from. I have a, uh, uh, who was it today? It was, yeah, it was the Coastal Carolina player. Um, he wanted to hold his bat up here. And as we're going through the drills and some T work and some flips, when we got the flips, he couldn't get everything synced up. I said, hey, for a few swings, just lay the bat on your shoulder and do everything we've talked about. And bam, the first pitch, the bat came right through the ball like it's supposed to. And the reason it does that is because when your bat's here on the shoulder, your body's gonna align to the pitch somehow so that when you tilt, the shoulder line will line up with the ball, so to speak. You'll create a plane, uh, a launch plane, that all you have to do is flick your bat off your shoulder and the bat will come through. If it's a high pitch, it'll look like this. If the pitch down the middle look like that. If it's a low pitch, you're already in the plane of the body's tilt. But when you hold the bat somewhere else, you're not in that plane. And you have to get to that plane or you're gonna push to that point, okay? So when they hold the bat somewhere else, their arms feel like they need to do something, and they usually do, and it's usually not the right thing. So this player took two or three or four swings, maybe five or six off his shoulder. It felt good. And then a couple swings later, I noticed his bat's just off his shoulder, and it still felt good. And eventually, he was able to move, put the bat wherever he wanted it, which is a little higher, and he could still make it feel good. But until I asked him to lay it on his shoulder, it was gonna be a long process to get him to understand the, the path and how it relates to the torso. So definitely for nine and under. In fact, uh, you know, George Brett, one of the greatest hitters ever, laid the bat on his shoulder and swung it right off his shoulder. Um, when I was a kid, the coaches would say, get the bat off your shoulder. Like, like there's some kind of detriment to that. And there really isn't. In fact, it's awesome from there. And if George Brett can hit almost 400 in the big leagues doing it, it, there can't be a whole lot wrong with it. What frustrates me is when I have a clinic here, I have eight or 10 or 12 kids here and I'll get them all feeling good with the bat on their shoulder. The bat's snapping right off their shoulder quickly through the tee, maybe in the flips. And I walk around the room and I got everybody good and pretty soon this person over here has got their bat not on their shoulder anymore and they're doing something completely different. Um, it's, I don't know, are they trying to look pretty or are they trying to hit? I don't think the bat on the shoulder looks ugly, but they all have some place that they want to go to to swing from and that almost automatically recruits or ends up being their old swing, not their new swing, at least at that point in their development. Um, they don't understand that, I guess, and I talk to them about it, and I'll get it back on their shoulder and I'll walk around the room and I'll look over there pretty soon, the bat's off the shoulder again. So, um, I can't make them do the right thing. I can ask them to do the right thing. I can show them what the right thing is. I can tell them why it's the right thing. I can get them to hit some balls that feel really good doing the right thing. And if they're not gonna do it, there's not a whole lot more I can do.